everyone, I'm Justin D. Roy, and this is my co-host Mike over here, and you tuned in for another episode of Schmodown Reactions. We are back in the Ultimate Schmodown, and it is now singles tournament time. Uh, I really don't have a preference for the people who are playing. It's uh, Matt Nost and... Let me look again. Matt Nost and, yeah, Jeff Snyder. Um, are the play, uh, people we have uh, competing in the match today again? Um, I don't really have a preference for either one. I guess maybe Matt Nose because I know he's John Roca's partner and they did fairly well in the team tournament until they got booted out by team action, which still just infuriates me. But I guess if I have to pick, I go with him. Michael, do you have any preference? Matt. Matt knows? I don't know. Well, let's just go ahead and get this started then. Very well I got my popcorn ready. Why is he? Why does he look like he was retaining well. the smoke of joint? Or he's making the toothpick, but it looked more like a joint to me. Yeah. Ready to go? I let me check. Sippy cup ready. Good. Good. Yep. That's barbaric. He's sipping out all the juices from R2 T to his head. But he does that every time he's there, so. <laughs> I don't know, it's barbaric. He's registering it. It looks more like he's like smoking a joint. Nope. Now they're both going to be in this tournament. So is there a possibility then they could end up facing each other? Probably not. Representing the Lions Den with a record of four wins, three defeats. Oh, he's just showing off his brown sugar. He was even talking about when um, Christian Harlow was talking about when he first took that home and his, uh, to uh, show it to his daughter. His daughter was so excited and he said, yeah, but don't get too excited. Daddy won't have this for much longer. So he's already not feeling very confident he's going to hold on to that hope for very long. Um. He looks like he prefers his coke stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> 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 
question number one comes in the realm of comedies, boys and comedies. Who co-stars with Robert De Niro in the 2002 spoof buddy comedy? Oh, that's Eddie Murphy. <sighs> Not their best films. Uh, oh, right, that's three-ish. Uh, five, four, Our film. three, two, one. Joe Snyder. That is correct. No, <laughs> Seriously, he wrote champagne at the top. I was wondering what he put at the top there because I could see him scroll something. Question two, category animated. What was the name of the sequel to Disney's The Rescuers? Rescuers Down Under. Shrimp on the body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if that offended anybody. <laughs> he knows not what he does sometimes. The rescuers down on the water. Snyder. The rescuers down on the Wow. I gotta tell you, he's not good at animated and he hit that wow. one. That's big. That's a big one. Alright, next question. Dramas. In dramas. In Sicario. Who oversees the special joint task force that Emily Blunt is recruited for to apprehend a cartel uh, I don't have an idea because I haven't seen this. And the guy I want to guess is the only person I know is in the film, and I can't remember his name. Benicio Del Toro. You know him as Thanos. I call him Josh Brolin. Oh. Correct. Uh, I know him. His name Josh Brolin. There you go. Right. Right. The right. wrong right, guys, MCU more. character. Or, 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 or. I've never even known. There's apparently two in that movie. 2001 sequel to Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal. Uh, Michael did. I didn't know it was 2001. Oh, yeah. Wow. That movie's a lot newer than I thought it was. Michael Bay? No, I'm saying Michael. <laughs> oh, I did? Okay. Category of action adventure. Action adventure. Charlotte Copley played which character in 2010's 18? Is that the mechanic guy? I know it's the, uh, I know obviously yeah, I it's, it's not it's, face and what's his actual name, the mechanic guy's name. I can't think of it. It's Maverick or something? Or? Murk. Murk is incorrect. No. No. Murdoch? That is right. Murdoch. Four, three, yeah, I think four, then that's three, the one I was thinking of. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was too busy looking into your eyes. That's all right. All right. Question six. Category sports movies. Sports movies. Who stars as the enforcer? Doug the Thug Blatt in the hockey film Goon. Sean William Scott. Oh, the sequel is supposed to be coming out to the United States for this year, if I'm not mistaken, actually. I think it's in October. <gasps> Fantasy sci-fi is the next category. Who directed the fantasy found footage film Chronicle? Oh god. The guy who also fucking got uh, Fired after talking shit about the fucking Fantastic Four movie he directed. What is his name, though? Three, two, one, hands down, and Jeff Snyder. He doesn't like me very much, Josh Trent. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's true, that's correct. Uh, I meant him. Good pull. All right, good pull. Six four. Only six points. Six two points. Six four. Right, final question. Gentlemen, final question. <sighs> you know, I should have told you that this is the guy's teammate from the Patriots. She probably would have picked him. made his feature directorial debut in 2013 with the comedy drama Don... Oh, that's, um... Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I did. I did. Yeah, people don't think I watch movies, but I watch about one every five years. That movie's crazy. He chooses... Was it Julianne Moore over Scarlett Johansson in that movie? Yeah. 
No, no. In what universe does that make sense? There you go. Matt Nelson, 7-5. Schneider having a great round. Now, if my choice is, was Julianne Moore in some less attractive bitch, then maybe Julianne Moore, because she's not that bad looking even for an older woman. But over Scarlett Johansson? No! <laughs> Except for Julian Moore and the Kingsmen, Golden Circle ain't gonna touch that crazy. No. <laughs> I could. I, I could take probably some cancerous, like, disease-ridden horror or her if it's my only other option. And it's gonna land on. Oh, I'm gonna say English patient. I think he said A. Tail, so. What Barbara Streisand directed film was nominated as Best Picture? Is it A, Yetel, B, Nuts, C, The Prince of Times, D, Amira has two faces? A. Um, I'll say The Prince of Times. That's correct. Yeah. Well, right. No points again. All right. All right. Who played Commodus in the Oscar-winning film, The Gladiator? Can you repeat? Who played Commodus in the Oscar-winning film, The Gladiator? That is correct. Two points. Two points. Two points. Two points. Two points. Two I didn't even remember that was his name. Next question. I just know he was the, the Caesar. Question. Who won an Oscar for his best actress for the 1971 film, Flute? I did bad in this category, too, because I maybe see... Two, maybe three tops a year, an like an Oscar film. Or best actress for the 1971 film. Five, four, Jesus Christ. Two, one, multiple choice. A. Mary Tyler Moore. B. Jane Fonda. C. Meryl Streep. D. Sally Field. B. Jane Fonda. One point. So Matt good. Good. All right. Nice Shit. Little round there. This is probably a really good kill if he gets a good category. Because I think he got all of the questions right, but he also only all but one with multiple choice, though. Did you also come or did you just take next? I tried to Tom for... Oh, no. 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 Oh, no
that's just a good mix is if we actually get to go to. Well, you're not going to be working on Tuesday next, so it's not going to be a problem to go to see uh, Sean the Dead. I was wondering about that, too. Question one. Which film marked the first collaboration between greats John Ford and John Wayne? Get your a, Searcher, B, Stagecoach, C, Fort Apache, D, Rio Grande. Rio Grande. Incorrect. Matt knows. What were B and C again? I'll read them all. A, the Searchers, B, Stagecoach, C, Fort Apache, D, Rio Grande. Five. Four. John Rocco did not answer this. Rio Grande. Incorrect. Looking for Stagecoach. All right. All right. No points on the board. All right. So second question. Second John question. My fucking question. Your second question. Yeah. If you're ready. What well-known stand-up comedian wrote and directed Hootie Tag? Louis C.K. That's correct. There you go. Two points. Louis C.K. wrote that? Who wrote and directed both Silverado and Wyatt Earp? A. John Milius. B. George Roy Hill. C. Lawrence Kasdan. <coughs> D. Walter Hill. Uh, B. That's correct for a point. Right up, Tie right. game. Final, Final one. Final one. Nicholas Cage and Jason Schwartzman are both nephews of which famous director? Francis Ford Coppola. That's correct. Really? All right. I did so not know that one. There, plans about an easy really? Gets one to end the, uh, round there. 12, 10, I thought they were all Western questions, questions though. They weren't. Two points here. Two point right. game. I don't know what the hell that question had to do with Western. I thought I remember that's what they got. Round number three. So the competitors will choose three numbers. From 1 to 20. First one worth 2, second one worth 3, third one worth 5 points. Jeff Snyder, you have a 2 point lead. Is that any good? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. It looks a little stale. They do, but they like soften up. 12, 14, 9, 12, 14. Matt knows. Uh, 3, 6, 10. 3, 6, 10. All right, so Matt knows you will be going first trying to hit your two-pointer and send it back to Jeff Snyder. You chose category number three. For your the protein? Category. That what? would be in the realm um, of... It could Snyder. be because the gelatin might right, be the go. kind that's made from hooves. Ellen Burstyn and Jared Leto played mother and son in what 2000 drug fueled Darren Aronofsky? Um, I was going to say that, but Ben said quick enough. All right, you chose number nine, Jeff. That's the category of fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Two-point question. Natalie Portman, James Franco, and Danny McBride. Uh, no, is it uh, fantasy tell it, no, something, Your Highness? You to call me after this match, Your Highness. Uh, All right, Snyder. All right, it goes back to Matt Nose. It is back and forth. Oh. Question number two. Which you said is no fat in them. Category number six. Famous actors and actresses. And they're gluten free. There you go. Matt Nose. Does he actually say that? <laughs> what oh film of Zach Snyder's was Michael Fassbender's feature film debut? Uh, 300. Three points. Oh, yeah. Three points. Three points. All right. Three All points. Right. Now it goes back to Snyder. All right, this is going to be a three-point question for you, Jeff. And this is number 12. You chose that. That is movie characters. Movie characters. Three points, Jeff. You'll find Hillary Swank playing a local Alaskan detective, Ellie Burr, in what 2002 um, film? It's what insomnia? Nose is going to have after this match, Insomnia. Three All right. points. All right, so now... Jeff Snyder taking a two-point lead once again. Matt Nose needs to hit his five-pointer in order to force Jeff Snyder to hit his five. Matt Nose, you have the category of new releases. New releases. Here we go. New releases for your five-pointer. What veteran actor plays Taylor, who runs the boat for the two ladies cage diving in 47 years down? 
I don't watch those kind of stupid ass films. Did he seriously just walk up assuming he's gonna land or something? What veteran actor plays Taylor, who runs the boat for the two young Are you diving in 47 years? God. I would just kick him in the nuts. I'm gonna lose on this turd of a movie. Thomas Jane. I have no idea what it is. God, he deserves a kick in the nuts, though, for fucking his victory lap before even knowing for sure he won, though. God. The dick. He didn't deserve that. No. Oh, God. You know, I'm getting really tired of these, these piss poor matches because, like, they seem to always lose on just, like, the dumbest fucking questions. And it's unfortunate. But, yeah, what we can do. Uh, so, yeah, Jeff Schneider's going to move on. Um, you know, I should stop picking the people I actually think and just go with my exact opposite. Because it seems that keeps on happening. Yeah. It's a good thing I don't actually bother like to try and create my own brackets for who's going to win. Because I would be doing really bad. On this one and the team tournament, I have not gotten close so far. But, um, yep, yeah, that's it for today's episode. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And then check out the links we have going up on this side of the screen near Michael to subscribe to this channel, as well as check out our adults only gaming channel, which we just put up a versus match for uh, Tekken. And then uh, up here at the top is a trailer for my short film, Time Travel Sucks. Uh, if you like that trailer, please watch the whole film. Let us know what you think. And um, that'll be it for us today. Goodbye.